Hello and welcome back to more controller madness. A lot of people ask me if I could also do a video about how to use Innovation SL Mark III together with Reaper. I normally do not do that because the functionality I show in my Bitwig videos is basically 99% identical to if you use it with Reaper. So I thought it's pretty boring to show exactly the same stuff happening here with Reaper. Instead I thought okay but nevertheless let's do a video and instead use it in practice. So as you see, it's an empty project. There is only here a master track and that's it. So you can press the shift button and get the options menu. Normally you would add an instrument, which gives you the option to select the template, which is much faster than adding plugins and all that stuff. But for a little bit of practice, let's say we just add an empty audio track. And here you see the track came up here. And there you have also, if you press shift the option first let's change the color for example let's say we want to have that here in green so we have a green track as well and it's empty so there is no sound and nothing so let's go here to the devices it doesn't have a device so it says please select one and what we want to do if you press shift again there is the insert option and here you will get now the browser with the options to filter and select all of the devices. That's what we will do. For example, we can say here the collection we want to select here device type and let's say we want to have here only instruments and from the instruments we select what shall we take. Let's take a diva, why not? And to confirm that to load, just leave here this mode, click here or here. So let's go here. So we have now loaded up Diva. You see the different parameter pages which you can change and with shift for example you could also call up the diva window and close it again and say we want to record a track the question also from some users was how do the clips work i explained that already in detail in the driven by moss for reaper 7.0 video there i also explained all the installation issues how you do that just to quickly repeat the idea is all the clips on the track are just counted so you see those clips clips then here and it also doesn't matter where the position is or the length is so just to give an idea how that works you could say if you go here into the configuration dialog i also explained in the previous video that you can put that on a shortcut so i have it on Control shift and j and you directly here into the driven by most window and there you can go to the configuration item and there you can say create a new clip if you press an empty pad and that's what you can do then going back here into our window so there are no clips here and if i say first we need to record enable the track so we can do that up here let's say we want to have here record enable and also enable the monitoring what we also need to do to give it the midi input so that's why i also said before it's better to use templates because you need with reaper to configure so much stuff it's not very intuitive okay you should work with templates but now we're ready we have now a sound coming in from here and what we could do is let's say we want to record a clip and that what happens a clip gets created and you can now overdub it into that mode but you also need to enable recording but before we do recording let's say we need the metronome as well you could also change the tempo here maybe let's make it make it faster a bit Let's say we want to have that as a tempo of our track and leave that menu, get ready for recording. Stop recording and make that a little bit, turn down the volume. And you also have the option to do quantizing here. And you can now add another track, go here, there, add another track. Let's now pick something here from the menu, which is much faster. Let's use here battery track. You can also open the window then. Let's go here and open the window. There we can load the kit. Uh, there is one loaded now already. Okay, close it down again. You can also set again the color. So let's say, let's say we want to have the color here in blue let's go here to the color uh, blue also check here we only want to monitor the new second track 
and there are the drums now and now you need to be careful because if you want to create here automatically a track let's remove that you need to be at the same position as the other clip you have uh, above so let's go to the start and here if you press now that one you can also record in that don't forget to record enable here on the transport bar and let's say let's do something whatever and you can turn down the volume again this will not be the next hit track just for demonstration purposes i think you get the idea uh, what i wanted to show is now how the clips work as well so we see we have two clips so if you simply duplicate so we have now two clips on each track you see you have now two clips let's do that again so we have three clips and what you also notice is there are no scenes yet so scenes are not indicated by the clips uh, also you could now move the clip so you will see they will be at different positions but here nothing will change so as i said only the number of clips will get counted so you should always ensure that you have the same number of clips of all tracks to make that some sense and also have them at the same positions to use scenes the scenes can be different they don't have to be identical here to the to the clips and you can simply create for that a region and let's say for example this will be our uh, intro if you go here you see you can start here that scene and it also creates the cycle markers so i hope this gives you an impression how to use the sl mark 3 together with reaper and yeah create some funky music <laughs>